know how to spot that, how to treat it, and how to help it. Research shows one in five high school athletes will suffer a concussion this year. A Powell High School teacher, though, wants to make sure her students know what that really means. Tennis reporter Shannon Smith shows us the new program training students to care for people suffering a brain injury. Powell High School's rehab careers class has a slew of new equipment. Crutches and stuff. We have canes. Yoga mats, CPR kits, physical therapy bands, and a new classmate. This is Granny. We do a lot of our like practices and stuff, like we learned how to get people out of the bed. All thanks to donations from Tonova and a $7,000 teacherpreneur grant from the Knox Education Foundation, because teacher Nikki Roach saw something that needed to be taught. I think it's important not only for the students and the athletes, but also for the teachers to understand and recognize signs and symptoms of concussion. Roach is putting an emphasis on the long-term impacts of brain injuries and how to care for them. Well, I could end up as a quadriplegic, a paraplegic, bed-bound, all of those things, teaching these students those skills on how to care for a patient in that situation. She's hosting a virtual brain week, having her students teach the school about concussions, brain bleeds, and seizures. You break a leg and it's noticeable, so everybody cares about that a lot more, where like concussion, people can't see that. Senior Kaylin Morton has had a concussion and wants her classmates to take brain injuries seriously. I feel like we need to know how to spot that, how to treat it, and how to help it. Roach says she wants students to be ready for anything. Our school community really has learned something and hopefully they'll learn to make better choices and think about the consequences. In Powell, I'm Shannon Smith. Roach wants to continue hosting Brain Week each year so all students and staff know how to spot and care for concussions.